My family growing up was big into unions, so I grew up in a union household. My father was a union steward for the uh, Teamsters local. He worked at PNC for decades. My uncle was the business manager for Roofers Local 195. He was a big figure in my family growing up and one of the nicest, most kind gentlemen you'll ever meet and very, very firm on his stance on the importance of unions. My other uncle was the international vice president of the Amalgamated Transit Union. So if you didn't grow up that way, knowing how important it was, you may not ever grasp where we have come from and, and how we got here. But I, I understood that from a very young age, that the, all of the workers' rights that we have now, we attained through a fight, and they can be taken away. I decided to become a physical therapist after having done a job shadow experience in high school for a paper that I had to write. And there was an instance where a woman who'd been injured was able to walk for the first time after her injury. And it was just an amazing experience to see that happen and to see the work that went into it from the physical therapy standpoint. And I really wanted to be a part of that. Getting involved in the union was to figure out what it was, and then I found that I could help people with that, and then I want to do as much as I possibly can to do that right and to do a good job for the members. April of 2021, Fred Cole called me and asked if I wanted to be on the negotiations team. I was very honored, so I absolutely accepted. And then two weeks later, about two weeks later, I found out I had breast cancer. So I called Fred back and I was like, listen, you can take this back if you need to. I don't know what this whole mess is gonna entail, but it sounds like it's gonna be a thing. So um, he said, you know, you tell me if you wanna duck out, that's fine. If you wanna be involved as much as you can, that's fine too. And I, I again, I was like, well, let's try. I'll do what I can. If I have to bow out, then I have to bow out. So I was uh, able to be really involved and I think that my time on the team has been really well spent and I think I've been able to really provide a voice to the concerns that the academic medical centers have. Went through the whole cancer thing, did the whole chemo, surgery, radiation, blah blah blah. That was annoying. It was the most annoying thing ever. I'm not an emotional person. I have like anger and sarcasm and that's about it. I'm a little more sappy than I used to be but Overall, now I'm healthy. One of my biggest pet peeves in life is pseudo solutions. I don't wanna just do something. I wanna actually solve the problem. You make the time. You make the time for things that are important for you.